Good morning my friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualized NZ. I am working with the Shades of Spring digital kit from Rachel Bella today. Now I've already done a project with this kit using the journal pages from the kit. Um, if you haven't seen that video I will link it in the description box where I made some really cool interactive journal pages using the digital pages. Uh, super fun project, but today I really wanted to play with some of the ephemera that comes in the kit. Uh, so, full disclosure, I am a member of the design team for Rach and Bella Crafts, and all their links will be in the description box as well. So first off, I have these two envelopes. They were on one sheet, so they're printed out on one sheet. And I want to have a play with these. Now, one of the easiest ways to deal with these is to use a scoreboard and score, make a score on the lines that need to be folded. But not everyone has a scoreboard, do they? So I want to show you an alternative method. And where we've got these tabs that fold in on the sides of our envelope, I'm going to place my ruler along the bottom of those tabs. And I'm going to grab just a gift card and slide it in underneath and fold it up against the ruler. And just give it a little press. And then we're good to go just to give that a press down. Now I'm going to use this plastic uh, bone folder type thing, but you could easily use a card. You could use the handle of your scissors you could use your thumbnail so I'm sure you've got a thumbnail handy uh, so that's the easy way to do this if you don't have a scoreboard and I do um, and I could do this with a scoreboard absolutely I could but I wanted just to show you a quick and easy way to achieve a good result without a scoreboard So I'm just going to do that one and do this one at the same time. So I'm running it along the edge of that tab, level with the edges of the envelope. Just lining it up. The trickiest part is getting in under that little tab of paper, but fingernail does the job there, or a pair of tweezers, or whatever you need to do. Again, I'm just going to give those a nice crease down. like so and then our final one is the top here and so same I'm going at the top of those tabs side tabs and in them under with my card and just folding it up and just complete the fold and there we go there's the thumbnail does a brilliant job. You don't really need a fancy tool. All you need is your thumbnail. So now we can glue our little envelope together. Isn't that super cute? Okay, I haven't folded it quite square, which is fine. Like that happens even with a scoreboard. So just adjust it slightly. And it might, might be the way I cut it out too. Um, you can just adjust it. And it's all good to go. Awesome. Isn't that such a sweet envelope? And if, I don't know if you can see this. I've got so much glue stuck on my fingers. I did not realise. It was when I was playing around with some fabric. Trying to glue it down earlier today. And it's, it's di it distracts me. So I've just got to take a moment to take care of it. So I'm going to ink around this. Hmm, I'm wondering. I was going to do vintage photo. And then I know I mentioned in my video when I was working with pages that pink would look really nice too. So I've grabbed out my sponge sugar distress ink. And I'm going to edge it with that because I think that's going to be super pretty. Yes, it is. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is really really pretty on this paper really suits it so 
Hey, how is everyone today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am filming this very late in the day on Tuesday because I haven't felt all that well today. And even as I'm sitting here now, um, I'm not feeling that crash hot. Um, yeah, my tummy's being a bit weird today. And it would have been a really good day to curl up on the couch and do nothing, but that happens to be my busiest day of the month. So yeah, no couch TV surfing for me today. As if I haven't had enough of that for the last couple of months with my surgery recovery, which is still ongoing. I'm still not back to normal. But yes, busy day, so I've had to just kind of ignore my my body. And it's, it's not particularly happy with me. And that's okay. Tomorrow is a new day. Right. So it's all linked up. All good to go. Now we're just going to glue it closed. Um, I do actually want to ink under that flap. Just on the inside of the flap. I haven't got a lot of ink left on my sponge, but just enough to, to take off the white edge. You may not be able to tell, but I can. So I'm just going to go in here and glue our flaps closed, just not taking the glue too far up so that it doesn't show. So the, the top of the side flaps here but the top of the bottom part is lower. So just bear that in mind when you're gluing it together. And such a cute, cute little envelope. I really adore printable envelopes. They are so pretty, they're so fun and versatile and just beautiful to tuck into a pocket. Now, I do want to decorate this. As, I mean, it's, it's so very pretty as is, but we've got more in the kit to play with. So let's look at some of the fussy cards, which I haven't cut out, I'm sorry. So if I use any, I'm going to have to just do it. How about a bird? Do we want a bird? Find one that fits. This one will fit. Or this, oh, I like this one. It's got that pink in it. So I'm just going to... Cut it out of the sheet, grab my fussy cutting scissors and let's whip around it. Now these have got a little board around uh, which just makes cutting them out really easy and forgiving so that if you you know, get a bit closer or a bit far away, um, the board is going to cover so that you don't end up with white. So you can choose to go right up to the image or you can choose to go around the border. Um, I'm sort of going around the border, well not sort of, I am, um, just because I don't want to take all day doing this with you guys and I didn't get time to fussy cut everything out ahead of time. Really feeling the pressure of getting things done uh, while I'm not back at 100%, you know I can't function, I want to function as I normally would. Um, in which case it wouldn't be a problem, but because I'm still not able to, to spend as much time at the craft desk as I would like, um, and the first of the month, which it is today here in New Zealand, is always a busy time for me, with lots of things coming due. Um, you know, I've, I've had to put my attention to that rather than even doing a video. So that's what my day's been like. How's your day been? I hope it's been full of good things. Good things, good times, good crafting. Whatever it has brought you, may it be a wonderful set of memories that you can carry forward. Right, there we go. So that didn't take too long. You're a very pretty little birdie. Very pretty. Right. Now, a bird always, to my mind, says music. 
because birds sing, don't they? So whenever I see a bird, I tend to gravitate to sheet music over book page. Not exclusively, but my first inclination is music. So I'm just tearing down a bit of scrap of music. This one talks about a bride and groom. Which is fine. I don't mind if it talks about a bride and groom. It's a happy thing. I think I'm just going to go... Do I want to go right across? I don't want to cover up all the pretty digital. But maybe I want a thinner strip. And do I want to use the bit with the text or the bit without the text? This is the question. Yes. I think the narrow bit, this bit is a bit wider with the text, so I think this narrow bit is where I'm at. And about there. Right. I am tempted to ink it, so because I was tempted, let's do it. And add the same pink. Now I think I like this side of the music better. Oops. Very hard to ink a bit of paper that keeps folding on you, increasing. Because it's old paper. Oh, at least it's not cracking or tearing. So that's that's a happy thing. Right, right across there for that. Let's glue that on. Can't believe this glue stick is still going. I was sure I was going to run out of it uh, like two videos ago. But nope, it's still going. Yeah, it's got a little bit of overhang there. Right, and Birdie, let's ink you up as well. And I'm going to do you in pink, because you are pink. So yes, this is such a pretty kit. I love the pastel colours in it. It's just very, very evocative of spring. And we're in winter here in New Zealand, and I can't wait for spring. But we've got to get through August and then September we get into spring. And it's it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. And it also means that I'll be another month further on in my recovery from my operation. So I should be pretty, you know, I would hope getting back to my normal level of activity. I hope. No guarantees, but that's my hope. Right, and I managed to glue it without gouging out my glue stick. That is also happy. Right, there we go, little birdie. You've now got a home on this sweet little envelope. Okay, so that's one. I haven't got a lot of room for a label or anything, but because there's text and things in the background, I don't actually think it needs it. We could put something on here. And I'm actually tempted to put lace. So before we move on to the next one, let's look at that. Um, we've got some pink lace here. What do we think about this? I think it's a bit too pink. It's not quite the right pink. No, not liking that. Uh, there's a little soft grey bit of lace here. What do we think of this? It's not bad. It's not bad, but can we do better? How about this white? 
more off it's more off white or ivory no it kind of gets lost okay i thought that would be the best one but um no that's not long enough what else have i got in my container here what about this one this one's a bit thicker Oh, and it's raining. Had a few showers of rain this afternoon. It's very, very windy today. And it's just spillover rain that's coming, uh, blowing over from the west coast of the South Island. I'm on the east coast. And when we get these big winds, it can blow the rain across the mountain range, the southern Alps, and give us the occasional bit of rain. Right. Yes, I think that one, and now that I've cut it, I'm going to try tacky glue. Um, I normally would use my alcohol-based glue, but it's running very low. So I'm just going to try the tacky glue. The tacky glue should be fine. Um, that way, or that way, that way I think. I think I had it right in the first place. So there's no reason why the tacky glue shouldn't hold it fine because it's only light. There we go. So we've added some lace to that one as well. I just think that's so pretty. Right, we'll put that aside to dry. Um, move this container of lace out my way. Lace and ribbon and trim and all that sort of good stuff and let's do this next one so I'm going to do it the same technique with the ruler and the gift card so this time I'm just going to go around and do all the fold lines and then go back and fold them down These wee side tabs are definitely the hardest ones to get a hold of and get your card under. I think I love the top on these pockets too. It's so pretty, the shape of it. It's not boring. Very, very pretty. And our last one down the bottom here. Here we go, so we've done all our creases. Now let's just go along and actually I think I'll do the side ones first and then I might be able to line up the bottom one properly. Before I crease it, give it the hard crease. There we go, that was better. And same at the top. Awesome. So this one, I am going to do vintage photo on. Just so we can get a different look, different feel. I have printed this out on um, 100 GSM presentation paper so they're not as flimsy whoops I'm dabbing this sponge on the ink pad but the lid was on so that wasn't very helpful uh, not as flimsy as photocopy paper it's got a little bit more sturdiness to it these will be so darling top tucked into a pocket So again, these have got a, a slight border around them, so you can cut to the border. That just makes them super easy to cut out. Right, so let's glue it together.
remembering just to leave that top bit on the flap free of glue. Oops, my phone is busy dinging. I forgot to put it on Do Not Disturb. And because I'm much later doing my video, of course, as well. Uh, hubby, it'll be my hubby. He knows I typically film in the mornings. And not today. Not today. Right. Super cute. And I've got more glue stuck in my fingers. I don't like the feeling of it. It interrupts with my sense of touch. So please excuse me if I'm sitting here picking glue off my fingers. And just having a sip of my tea as well, which is mm, getting on towards cold. Okay, so do we want another birdie? Or do we would we like something else out of the ephemera? The flowers are a bit big, these ones anyway, are too big for sweet pocket. Got this one might fit. But you know what? There's some faux stamps here, and I think one of these would be super cute. There's a little bit of blue on the thing here, so do we want to go with a blue one? Let's go with this um, hydrangea flower. Now, if I had my fancy cut scissors, you know, the ones that cut to shapes, I would use those to cut around the stamp. Um, but I don't. One, I don't know where they are. Two, if I did know where they are, I would not be able to get to them because of my mobility at the moment. So I'm just going to square cut it and ink around it and take away from the white that's still in all the little scallops. I haven't actually seen the scissors for a long time, so I don't know where they're hiding in my studio. Hopefully, before the end of the year, I can get my studio all sorted. That would be ideal, but it's a big, big job, and I'm not back on my feet properly yet, so we shall see. We shall see how that goes. Okay, loving that. Um, I am thinking the book page on this one. I mean, there is text in the background, but we can always add more. This might not be long enough, this bit. Although I quite like it just along the bottom there. I don't like that blank bit at the bottom. Please excuse too if you can see the bruise on my arm. It's gradually fading. Yeah, I don't mind that. Let's just give it a... I will be trimming off the side, so I'll ink that once I've trimmed it off. Um, right. Glue stick. Just a little tiny scrap of book page. Good to get it out of my bag of scraps and put it down on something. Just putting it slightly up from the bottom. Get rid of those tiny wee scraps. I've got more where they came from. Right, I really like that. I think that's really cool. Um, I'm wondering about a label, and I've got some handmade labels here. Can we find something that would suit? That's kind of cool. It's just made with stamp sets and the background is scraps of um, either book page, 
like coloured children's book pages or magazines, um, all that sort of thing. I love making little labels, stamp labels out of offcuts and magazine pages where you've, you know, cut what you wanted out and then you've got just the cool colours and textures. Now I think that one, because it ties in better, this one you may not be able to tell is actually purple. Um, it's a purple gingham type pattern. And although we've got blue, I'm feeling like it's not the best option. I think this sort of more peachy one definitely ties in with this here. So I think we'll go with that one. Such important decisions to make. All right, let's glue this on. So this is part of my design team project for Rachel Miller Crafts for July. And we're actually in August here in New Zealand today. This is the 1st of August, so I don't know yet what I'll be working with for August's design team project. But it's exciting. Just so fun to play with these beautiful digitals of um, the various creators that put them out. It's just so inspiring. Right, there we go. Now, do I have any little gems I can put in the in the wee circles? I do. Can I find them? That is the next question. Let me have a wee look in my sticker pack. If I can find them quickly. It's quite a tall packet, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Well, they are my shaped ones, but I'm looking for the round ones. Ah, here we go. Round ones. So I'll put the shaped ones back. Because I don't want those. And what colour do we want? Possibly the clear ones. Silvery ones. Um, let's have a look anyway. So we've got pink. The pink is pretty. There's that light blue, or there's a purpley blue there. No, that's not the right colour. The yellow is not going to work. The dark pink, no. It's either the light pink or this silvery, white, clear, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, I think I'm going to go with these wee pink ones. And because I've got the smallest ones still in, in the pink, whereas I've used all the smallest ones of the, the silvery ones. Now I'm going to stick these on. I may have to go back in with glue um, if they are going to misbehave. But Oh, isn't that pretty? You see the... Just that little sparkle from the wee um, gem stickers. Pretty. And for some reason I feel like I haven't put that on straight. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Feeling like I want a postmark stamp on that. Um, I haven't been able to find my postmark stamp. Oops, and I'm knocking stuff over. I'm just going to have a wee dig through, um, see if I've got something else. Because my little postmark stamp is a little wooden one. And I used to keep it in my tray on the side of my desk, and it's gone. So either I cleared it away um, and put it somewhere else, silly me. Or it fell out one day and is hiding somewhere. And if it did fall down, then a cat probably came along and battered it somewhere. So, oh, here we go. One of those will do. They're not exactly postmark, but they're round. This one says received. This one is 
um, another kind of received type stamp but I think just this wee one will do the job so I'm pleased I had a look this is a new set so I haven't really played that much with it and I couldn't remember what was in it and I haven't used this stamp so let's give it a whirl oh, if I can get it off the plastic And it's raining again. It's very off on at the moment. Um, do I want black? Or do I want... I think I want coffee. Now I've got a cup of tea, so that's tough luck. <laughs> Sorry, I could not resist. I'm just going to trial stamp it on this bit of paper. Um, one, so I get it up the right way, and two, so I can just see whether it stamps okay or not, since I haven't used it before. Ah, it's good enough for me. Yep. Yes, I love that. Awesome. And we want to just pop one want to pop one going over the flap so it's half on the flap half on the bottom of the envelope see that so I've got half there and then I've got the other half just on the flap there I think that's fun I haven't done that before it just kind of on the fly decision right cool do I want to put anything on the back Hmm. Got more of these stamps. Or a little birdie. Used a blue flower. We could use a blue birdie on the back. I'm thinking of cutting around the bird. So let's do that. It's just like a mini fussy cut, isn't it? Cutting it out of the stamp. Let's, I'm going to leave a little board around him so I'm not going right up against the bird and I will ink around him I'm a lot less careful when I leave a border it enables me to cut a bit faster gosh that rain's getting quite heavy A little birdie hanging out on the back and we could put a little piece of this music if we wanted to just a little bit yes why not we give it a little dirty up a bit of grungification how's that for a word I think I just made up a new word. Grungification. Pop that there. And then let's ink around our little birdie fellow. Fellow or felis. Who knows? Well, he's a very, very colourful bird, so it's probably the male. So it's probably a fella. As opposed to a phallus. I don't know if that's a New Zealand thing. Do you guys know what I'm talking about when I say a, a fella or a phallus? Fella being male and phallus, which is just a like a, it's not even a word. I'm just playing with the word, the feminine version, aka, AKA female. Here we go, Bertie. We've got a home on the back of this little envelope. Super sweet. And that's all good to go. So we've got two little envelopes done slightly differently. And I really think they're both beautiful. And they will be fun to use in a journal. I'm just going to check the time. 
we're not doing too bad we might have to undo something else but i am just going to check in my phone and make sure that hubby's not waiting on a response so just bear with me two seconds as long as my phone responds okay yeah no it's all good right so done the envelopes put these stickers away so they're out of my hair or off my plate off my desk i love these stickers so pretty i use them a lot in my personal journaling and sorry i think i just head butted the camera then hopefully you didn't get my big head in the, in the shot <laughs> right let's have a look at some of these other pieces and see what speaks to me so we've got this is actually the same piece which when i first printed it i printed it the wrong orientation so it only printed like this much so i reprinted it so it's actually the same thing which is fine because it gives me more to play with so i think i'm going to take this one that's um you know because the the wrong print and this is catching my eye it's very pretty not sure what i'm going to do with it yet it could be a side pocket it could be a belly band um, it could be a journal card or a tag like so many options gosh the temperature's coming down slightly too it's like oh i might have to go put my hoodie on which it's given that it's winter it's very unusual that I'm not wearing my hoodie that's kind of the day it's been it's been quite warm the fire is going though um, so there was a little chink out of the digital there a little tear so I've put that back in because um, it's a little bit you know of authentic damage if you like and this too has a little border around it. Right, so it goes up this way. I think I'm going to put it on a page and see what it looks like. Oh, that's not a coffee dyed piece of paper. Okay, so it's probably a little short for my typical page for a belly band. <clears throat> Excuse me. It could be a, a tuck, side tuck or a side pocket. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to turn it into a tall tag. That's what I was thinking anyway, but just kind of putting it on a page confirmed it for me. So want something to back it with because this is only on photocopy paper um, just bear with me while I hunt for something that's big enough how about this this is packing paper and it's I haven't got very much of it left I love it so much I've used most of what I grabbed of it I grabbed it from my hubby's work and I just think it's the most awesome stuff I have never seen it since this lot so I don't know when I'll ever see it again oh gosh that rain is loud I don't know if you can hear it it's super loud where I'm sitting. So I think this will be the last thing because I'm getting cold and the fire I can tell needs uh, some wood, wood on it. And I need to put my top on so I don't get cold. I'm okay at the moment, I just can feel it cooling down. But I do not want to catch cold or a chill or anything and add that to my current situation would just be not fun 
Uh, all I want to be doing is back to my normal 12 hour a day crafting because that's normally what I would be doing 12 hours a day basically from 8 till 8 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night and if I'm honest often it's like 8 o'clock in the morning to half past 9 at night so you know even more than 8 hours I, don't, I know I know I've is something wrong with me I just can't help it I just love creating, love crafting and being on three design teams I could really do with having that sort of time at the craft desk right now um, but I just haven't got it in me yet but it will come never fear people it will come Okay, so trim off this side with the scissors because I haven't got enough of an edge there to tear it. Just move out some of those wrinkles. I don't mind the wrinkles, but just to make sure the glue sticks down nicely and I've got a edge lifting here so I'm just going to go in with my tacky glue this is how I end up with glue on my fingers because I go in under the edges and then I smooth it down and all the excess comes out on my fingers that's what they're for isn't it your fingers are there to catch the excess glue I mean what else do you catch the glue with It harks back to my days at primary school where we used to play with PVA and spread it all over our fingers and then peel it off. I used to spend ages doing that, particularly when you're bored. Oops, there's another bit, another corner that needs attention. Were you someone that did that? Did that with the PVA at school when you were bored? It was quite the thing when I was at school. because I've smoothed out some of the wrinkles. I've got a little bit of excess hanging over there. Let's trim that off. Right. Okay, so do we want to do a tag shape? Like so. I think we do. Okay, so I'm going to snip. And this is still quite flexible because the glue's wet. It'll stiffen up a bit once it's dry. go so let's ink around it I'm going to go vintage photo again my good old go to uh, the cats are coming in now with the rain they've been outside most of the day because it's been so warm and lovely so if my cat Simba was still alive he would have been inside because he doesn't like the wind or he didn't like the wind it's been a few years since he passed but um, he had long fur and he hated the wind because it just ruffled his fur all the wrong way and just did not like it so he would have been inside on a day like today right okay excuse my reach going to grab my hole punch and pop a hole in probably should wait till it's properly dry but you know times are moving on and I'm going to make a little hole reinforcer um, is there a part of the digit actually I know what I I've got a scrap that I tore off from the, um, the last video I did on this I might go with this labelly bit actually I'm not going to see much of it but so just with my half inch round circle punch and then I go in with my single hole punch and try and get the middle it's not easy and often I fail but good enough is good enough for me okay I'm going to Grab a scrap of paper here, just give it some more ink. It's 
so you can still see the text detail under the ink gives it a little bit of interest and then I'll use that same bit with the glue stick why not almost at the plastic on the glue stick we're almost out right and then I'm going to pop that over there so that's our little hole reinforcer super quick and easy okay a little bit curly with the glue let's just run it over my desk a little bit I almost need to do it the other way sideways but it's a little tricky ah, that worked it's fine I can just put it underneath something heavy when I'm finished and it will flatten it out perfectly fine okay we've got some little labels and bits and pieces here actually that's what I want to do use this little one down the bottom let's cut it out I just want to use half of it. I might use the other half as well. I just want to put half. I'm going to ink the whole thing because, you know, why not? I'm not sure whether I want to do straight halves or whether it will be slightly more or less. Actually, do I want to wrap it? I'm going to wrap it round, so I'm not going to cut it in half at all. I'm just going to wrap it. And then it will give the back a little, little bit of something too. It's very much a Rachel from Roxy Creations uh, thing. She does a lot of that. Just puts a label on and then just wraps it around to the other side. There we go. Right. Do I want to add anything else? We could put another one on and wrap it around at the top, but I don't think we need to. So, next thing I want to do is a topper. So let's go back to our lace bin here. Do we want to use this pink? Keep trying to use this pink. It could be quite pre <clears throat> Excuse me, it was a hiccup. Um, it could be quite pretty. It's kind of a different pink though so I'm still not overly happy with that pink not with this uh, this grey one mm, it's okay not my fave either this is a really old bit of lace that's it that's the one I'm going to use I don't need all of that though Just wondering whether I had anything else I could pop with it, but no, I just think I'm going to go lace. So I'm going to have a little scrap left over for something else, go on a snippet or something. So I'm going to just fold it in half, push that folded half through the hole, and then put the ends back through the, the loop. I mean, you, you all know how to do this, but just in case somebody doesn't, here we go, and pull it taut, not too tight though, you don't want to end up ripping through your, your piece, and I'm just going to give those a little angle, I always think it looks prettier when it's got an angle on it, like so. So there we go, this is the Shades of Spring kit and I've worked up three bits of ephemera. So a little, well, small, tall, I don't know, a, a tag. Let me just not try and describe it, okay? Because I'm making a whole mess of it. We've made a tag and we've worked up these two cute little envelopes. I thought I might fill them on video but I've run out of time and there's things that I need to get on with but they are super cute aren't they so there's the backs 
the lace on this one, the bird on that one, and then the fronts with the bird and the flower stamp and our wee label here. So thank you so much for joining me. Do pop along and check out Rachel and Bella Crafts if you haven't. Um, really stunning kits, super pretty. I'm just having so much fun. Um, so that and the pages I did, if I can grab them out for a moment before I let you go. Um, so there's this one and this one and this one. That's my design team project for July for Rachel and Bella Crafts. So I will link this video with these because they're really cool interactive little pieces uh, with envelopes and fold outs and, and all fun stuff. Uh, so I will link that if you want to go and watch. Otherwise uh, find Rachel and Bella Crafts, her links below or their links I should say. Um, thanks for joining me. Take care everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.